ages 5 to 12, they are the most susceptible to online predators. And as June rolls around, marking the end of the school year and the beginning of Internet Safety Month. Yeah, authorities have a reminder for parents to closely monitor their child's Internet usage. ABC 4's Nicole Newman explains why. It's a world of wonder filled with all sorts of threats. I think the days of a free, innocent internet, if you will, are over. With the click of a mouse and the tap of some keystrokes, a child can find themselves in some very serious danger. There's a lot of people out there that are trying to trick adults and especially children. The biggest risk includes cyberbullying, with almost 34% of children from 12 to 17 being a victim, with 11.5% cyberbullying someone else. Then there's the exposure to inappropriate content from hate speech to sexually explicit images. One of the most concerning remains online predators enticing children for sexual exploitation. They're in chat rooms posing as children or they're outright aggressive with, with the kids and, and wanting to actually meet them. Today, ABC4 spoke to the Utah Attorney General's office about online safety. It's in preparation for June, which is Internet Safety Month. A lot of kids may not realize the danger they're in until it's too late and they send a picture, and then that picture is used as blackmail. According to a new 2019 SafeWise Internet Safety Guide for Kids, 78% of girls have been targeted by an online predator, while 82% of online predators are male. 98% of these predators have never met their child targets in real life. The kids need to know that they can go to an adult, so the parents need to empower that relationship so they know that they can go for help if they need it. In addition, SafeWide recommends controlling digital cameras and photo apps on your child's devices. In Salt Lake City, Nicole Newman, ABC4 News. Now, if your child has been targeted online, SafeWise recommends saving the screenshots or getting copies of the messages and immediately contacting law enforcement.